So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating the time capsule and this video should be able to walk you through it if you're having trouble. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to go to this. I'm going to restart it so that I have a fresh uh, slate. I'm going to go to start. Okay. And as I'm walking through this, the directions are here. So the first step is to place a box on the work plane. Box on the work plane. Scale the box so its dimensions equal 2.5 millimeters height. That's our first step. So we're going to click on that top box there. And we're going to do 2.5. Enter. And that brings it down. The next one says 20 millimeters width and 32 length. 20 millimeters and 32. Next step, it says to place a round roof on the work plane. The round roof is this blue one right there. You can see if you hover over it, it says round roof. We're going to put it out there and we're gonna make it the same dim dimensions as that uh, box, except for that the height on this one is going to be uh, nine millimeters. So I'm gonna click that first. Instead of 10, we're gonna make it nine. There it is. And on this one, uh, the width is gonna be 17 and the length is gonna be 32. So we're gonna click on any one of these corners. It doesn't matter which one you do. And we're gonna do a width of 17 and we're gonna do a length of 32. There we go. Now we have our first two shapes, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is align these guys. So I'm gonna select them both, click the align tool up here in the corner. If you hover over it, it should say align. And I'm gonna put them together by clicking this center dot and this center dot, okay? And now I have those two things aligned. Next step, uh, we've already done this. Um, it says to center them on the X and Y, we've done that. Uh, in the next step, number six says select the box and choose duplicate at the top left, move it down 2.5 millimeters. So we're gonna click on the box and the way you know it's the box is that it's red and it says box. We're gonna click duplicate. Okay, so now we have a duplicate box here and we're gonna move it down 2.5. So if I click on this guy and start to move him, you'll see this thing and I can just type in negative 2.5. There we go, okay? And now underneath this thing, I should have my other box and there it is. So our work plane is kind of separating the two boxes like that, okay? It says scale the height of the duplicate box, so the new one to be 10 millimeters, okay? So if I click on this, I want this to be 10 millimeters and that's the wrong box. So we're gonna do undo. We're gonna look underneath so we get the right box, okay? This guy and we're gonna do height of 10. That's not right. We're, we're not clicking the right thing. So I'm going to go back one more time and I'm going to try and uh, see if I can move in a little bit here. Okay. So if I click this, hopefully this one's the right box. So if I move this down a little bit, there we go. Okay. So the height on this guy is going to be 10. So we're going to click this and do 10. There we go. That looks better. Okay. And then it says to select the top box in the round roof and group them together. And this is going to be the lid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two shapes. You can either select them both and it should, well, it should say, say two shapes. Um, there should only be two there, but I think I have an extra duplicate. So I've clicked the box, I hold down shift and I click the top guy here. Let's see if we can try this again. Just a lot of just trying. Okay, that's not working, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, and if I duplicate, if I group them, they should become the same color. Okay, this is going to be the lid. All right, so this is what we're going for. This is the next step here. We're trying to get these kind of iron or brass bars across the top. Okay, and here's how we're going to do that. So um, we, and we'll worry about the color later. Don't worry about the color yet. Let's just kind of get these things. I like to bring this up so that they're all up on my work plane. You don't have to do that, but it's helpful for me. So I just do that. Okay. And now I have something that kind of looks like this. There's a lid that's separated. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to select this top piece. Okay. And it's this, it should just be this top piece. Okay. Oh, see, there we go. Let's try it again. So I can just click on it. Okay. Now it says, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to select the top box and round roof, group them, and then duplicate it and turn it into a metal band. So I'm going to click duplicate and repeat. Okay. 
Um, and then it says, scale the width, so I haven't unclicked anything, scale the width of the duplicate down to 2.5. Okay, so if I do that, and I click 2.5, it should go down, and it's right there. I'm going to change the color so we can see it. So here's my, my brass thing right there. Okay, so we did that. Um, it says, ungroup the objects that make the metal band. Ungroup the objects that make up the metal band and scale each separately. Scale the object's height and width about one millimeter from the lid surface. So here's what I'm going to do. Oops, that's not right. Okay, we don't want this thing here. I don't know. I see what happened. Okay, so we want to get rid of this box. We want to ungroup these things. These are grouped. That's why I did that. Um, so we're going to delete this guy. We're going to do this over. Okay, so here we go. So what you want to make sure that you only have two shapes selected here. So we're going to ungroup these guys. Okay, we only want to group this one. And this one. So now we have two shapes grouped. Let's group those guys together and now we can move on. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to do duplicate, and I'm going to change the width down to 2.5. Okay, so now it's down here. And I'm going to change the color to be gold. Okay, so now I have this thing, this band. Okay, I don't want the band right on the end. If you look at the picture, the band is a little bit off the end, so we're going to kind of change it a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use the arrow key and do over one. I did it over one millimeter. Okay, we also want this thing to stick out a little bit because this is 3D. So we're going to take this thing, and what I'm going to do is just uh, make it a little bit bigger. So I, uh, for the width, I'm going to make it uh, 3.5, and I'll show you, show you why. No, that's not right. I'm going to go back. Um, let's try this again. So for the height, I'm going to make it 10. And then it should be sticking out a little bit. Okay. So we're sticking out a little bit there. Um, and for the length, I'm going to make it 22. And there we go. Okay. So let's see if we can kind of move this over to center it. Please pardon the interruption. If you are playing flag football or boys volleyball, and I'm just kind of moving these in so that they're not out on that side. It's kind of, kind of weird to do. That doesn't really, that doesn't look good to me. We're going to have to do this a different way. Let's try, let's go back, 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 back. Okay, now we're back here. Okay, so we have our band. We just need it to be a little bit bigger. We want it to be sticking out a little bit. If you look at this one, it's sticking out. So we want it to be like a little bit more in this direction and a little bit more in this direction. Okay, so let's try this again. If we select this and you hold down shift, let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Let's see what happens here. If we make it a little, nope, that's not what we want to do. Let's try this a different way. Okay, so we have this band um, and these are the dimensions. So 2.5 and 20. So the height is 20. Let's make the height 21. Okay. And let's make the width 3.5. Okay. And let's see now if we can move this up just a little bit and over just a little bit. So if it's moving too much, you can change the snap grid down to 25 or even lower. And now I think we're getting close um, for all intents and purposes. There is a better way to do this. Um, cause this is by, by all means not perfect. Um, I don't like that it's sticking out there. I would love to move this in just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't want it sticking out the end. So I'm going to do that. That's close. I'm going to do it a little bit more. Um, I don't want it sticking out the end there. Let's see how that looks. Okay. We're getting close. Um, and this one is pretty close too. I don't want that sticking out there because it looks a little funky. So we're going to just do that. Okay. And this, you can do whatever you want for yours. Um, so there you can see it's got a, kind of, a little bit of texture there. That's fine enough for me. Okay. Now what we're going to do is one of my favorite features. We're going to do duplicate and repeat. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to move this over to where I want it. Um, I want to put on uh, four of these, so I'm going to do it like maybe there, and now if I click duplicate and repeat, duplicate and repeat, there's my four. Okay, that's one of my favorite things. I'm going to space these out a little bit more evenly, and I'm just using the arrow keys to do that. 
um, it should be pretty easy to, to move these around. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, I am also going to change the color of this stuff. I'm going to change these to be, uh, well, maybe I'll keep these this color. Let's change the color of the box to be brown. Maybe this color brown. I like that color. All right. And this one's going to be brown as well. Those look like different colors. Maybe they're the same. Okay. Um, all right. So now we have our basic outline. And this was a little bit rushed, but I'm trying to make it under 15 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, you can change your, your bars to be whatever you want. So let's go down. Um, now we're going to group these together. Okay. We're just going to group the top part. So if I go like this and select these guys, I'm going to go up to group, group them. Okay. To get that multicolored look, you're going to go down to this and click multicolor, and then that comes back. And again, this is a little bit off. It's a little bit rushed, uh, but, you know, we can go back and fix that later. Okay, so now I have that. Okay, that's that's done. This is not, not a uh, box yet. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit more on that. Um, the next thing says, move the lid up enough to see the top of the container of the box, duplicate the container, uh, and scale down until all edges are about two to three millimeters. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm just going to select this for, for our intents and purposes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say duplicate. I'm going to make it into, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make it a little smaller in each direction. So I'm going to do, uh, 30 and 18. So we're going to go 30 and 18. Okay. We're going to make it a hole and we are going to move this until this thing's centered. You can also use the align tool, but uh, the arrow keys are so easy to use. Okay, so now you can see it's kind of like there. Now, if I bring this hole up a little bit, I'm just gonna move it up a little bit so that I have a bottom of the box. I'm gonna select these, I'm gonna combine them, and now I have a hole in my box, which is pretty cool. There's another thing you can do on here, which I'm not gonna do, which is to create a little bit of a lip on the outside of your box here. Um, and so that when you print this or 3D print this, it actually fits in perfectly. Um, and the way you do that is you just basically uh, copy this um, before you make the hole and use that as a, um, as a guide. So it needs to be as big as this right here. So this opening right there. Okay. Um, one way you could do that is you could try putting a box in here and, uh, well, I wonder if I could duplicate it. Let's try that. Let's try and, let's try and duplicate it and then let's bring this up and then I'm going to make this way shorter so that it's all like that okay um and we're going to need to make this a little smaller so we're going to go down a little bit okay and then what I'm going to do to just check this is I'm going to go like this and make it red so that I can see how it um how it fits in there we want to align these guys this way and this way and let's see how big this is now let's see if that actually would fit in there and if it doesn't we can make it smaller so we bring it down and that looks like a pretty close fit uh, that's actually about perfect okay um, so the dimensions on this are we did 30 and 17.75 so now what we can do is we can lift this thing up a little bit we can take this we can move it oops I don't want to do that we can take this and lift it up a little bit and let's align this guy and this guy. Let's align these guys uh, so that they're right above each other. Okay. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit taller. So I'm going to make the height on this one, one. Okay. And then I'm going to make it the same color as the box. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is move it up until it gets underneath there. Let's see how that looks. Nope, not even close. This is why we got to look at it from all directions. Okay, we're going to move it down, 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 down until it's like that. Now let's see how that looks. Okay, we need to move it down a little bit more so that's sticking out the bottom. Okay, so we're going to do that and we're going to do it like this so that it's just sticking out. Nope, the wrong one. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, that works. Okay, now we got to wait for this box to actually go in there. Um, and I'm going to join those guys together. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to group them. Okay. Now we have a lip here that can actually go inside this box. 
Uh, the last thing that they say to do is to add some text on there. You can add whatever you want, and text is really straightforward. Let's select these guys. We're going to align them. Oops. We're going to select these guys. We're going to align them. So align button. You want to use the center one, maybe a better view. Center one, center one. Okay, and now if we put this down, it's going to go right into that thing. So I'm going to put it down. It should go right into that perfectly. It should fit just right. Okay, and I'm going to put some text on here. So we're going to bring out some text. It's going to be gigantic. Um, first thing I'm going to do is hold down shift uh, and make this maybe 10. See how that looks. Okay, uh, so let's do 20. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to move this thing around. So we're going to move it this way to 90 degrees. I'm going to put it in front of my box, and then I'm going to put it up, which is this one over here. So if you highlight it, and click 90, then your text is up. Okay, um, so now we have this. So I'm going to bring my text up a little bit so that it's kind of ready. Okay, uh, the text I'm going to make gold. Um... And we are going to move, uh, let's see here. We're going to do this. We're going to click on this guy. We're going to change this to Kush Test. Okay. Now, obviously, that doesn't fit. So what we need to do is we need to make it smaller. We're going to go, let's do... Let's do 30. Let's see if that, okay, that should fit on there. Okay, then we can just kind of move it onto the box to wherever you want it to go. Okay, um, so there we go. That's a treasure chest. Uh, the next step for this would be to, uh, well, I'm going to group the two things. I'm going to group the, the writing in the box. Okay, and make sure we do multicolor. Um, and the next thing would be to kind of make some things to put in it. Okay. Thanks for watching.